in the glitz and glamour of downtown. And I have another terrible plan. That's, that's how I'm going to introduce every episode at this point. We are going to build a lake. Like, why have canals? Because this, this could be a wonderful lakeside community. We need the power to create water. We don't want to be hooking it up to the old flood river over there. The only issue here is that I do not know how this is going to work. One thing that we can do is we can dump water. Well, yeah, one of these things. We can just dump water out of the pipes into an area. So we could very easily build a very beautiful lake. Or we could build a hideous monstrosity that scares children for miles around and serves as a reminder that we know nothing about town planning. So let's see what happens. We're going to hook this up to there and we are going to build a beautiful future in this lake. Oh, it needs some power. Well, we can hook it up to the power and then we are going to build a beautiful future in this lake. Oh god, look what happened to that power line. Wait, hold on. Was that all the water you were going to put out, this Mr. Pipe? I am a little bit worried. We've got some water. Is this flat? Is, does it need to be somewhere else for the water to get out? And this seems to be working. I am very, very excited for the possibilities, town planning wise, that this could lead to. Fantastic. Is it just going to fill up forever, though? And flood the town? Because presumably, where's the water ever going to go? Hmm. Do I just turn it off when it's full? Then won't the water evaporate? Okay, well, let's just say we haven't worked out all the problems with this new plan. But it seems to be working. We also have no money. So even if we wanted to build a wonderful new area around a lake, we wouldn't be able to do it anyway. So, how can I get some more money for the town? Oh my, oh my god, everyone's dead. Dead, 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 dead. What is going on? Dead? Why is everyone in town dead? Oh, I know why some people may be dead. Flames. Can someone deal with this? Oh god, that's very angry dead. And you're abandoned. Things are not going well. I'm sorry to get the gist. When you see lots of dead, you get the idea that things are going badly. Is it you, Darren Dream Park? Are you killing people? Probably. Uh, yeah. Also, we are close to getting 5,000 people. That's going to be fun. Uh, but also, there's a dead person at the Piggly Wiggly. Which one of you is dead? Is a hearse on the way? It is, apparently. Follow the pink line. Where is the hearse? Why is the hearse here? Actually, that's the police. Okay, so, oh my god. Now there's a lot of angry dead. Why are we all dying? You're having crime problems. Is the other crime related to the death? Is it just a murderer on the loose? Oh god. What if it is a murderer on the loose? Someone else just died. Okay. It is very clear that someone in this part of town is killing everyone. So what can I... Oh, right, we've got no money. Of course. I think we need our own police station. I think we should put it down here where the taxi depot used to go. We need money, but... Uh, if you just put up with getting murdered for a while. If you see a murderer, don't let him stab you. There's a hearse. Why don't you go and pick up the dead from the supermarket? Because I would imagine that's a lot more of an annoyance than the dead at the homes. You don't want to go shopping at Piggly Wiggly. Oh, here they, here they are. You don't want to go shopping Piggly Wheelie and see a corpse in the aisle. That is majorly disturbing. Right, they've got rid of that corpse. There's still someone dead at the hotel. Oh no, here comes the hearse at the hotel. We definitely have it. And the police. You can just see him. There's definitely a murder on the loose. Police again. There's double police. Okay, and the post office. Well, as long as, long as they're still doing something. I took all their money away. I don't know what they do with their lives now. But, you know, they live their best lives. They only have three post vans, but I don't know what they use them for anyway. You're not making money, and that's all I care about. Okay, well, it looks like they got rid of the dead, which is good. Let me get rid of the abandoned buildings then, because 
Come on, we're a classy town. And I'll just wait for some money then to get police. What's happening in the new office building? They're having an issue. This symbol means issues. Most symbol. If you see a symbol above anything, it's not good. Uh, you have too few services. What do you want? Police. Oh, it's probably police. Nowhere's got enough police. Everyone on Treasure Islands is now dying. The murderer has just been moved. You didn't stop him, did you? You just moved him down the street. We definitely have an issue. Oh, someone else has died. Or were they dead before? I don't know anymore. I don't know. There's just lots of dead. This is not good. And the post office. They're everywhere. Why are they even around here? There's no post station for miles. These people, these people live in a different world. Like, they have got one connection to the highway. And they're on this little street where nothing else can touch them. It's a little quiet village. This is where Midsummer Murders takes place. I know in the show, it doesn't look like it's surrounded by highways, but really it is. That's partly why all the murderers get there. Didn't they just spontaneously appear? No, no, no. They drive in from Murder Town. You, what are you doing? You're driving around. You're a university student at the Aisha of City College. One of like 10 then. How is that place doing? 160. I swear we had 170 before. We, why is no one going to university? Is it because they're dead? Oh god, you're definitely a new dead. Why are you dying? Oh god, someone in Fiaset died. Everyone's dying. It's deeply disturbing. Right. Well, oh, I've got some money now. I can, we can finally afford a police station. Look, look, I'll put it over here. I'll put it, you can have one there. And we'll, we'll deal with the other side of town later. I think I might have figured out the issue. You see where it says jail availability? Where there's no jail cells for all the criminals. Oh my god, someone died at the police station. Who's killing the police officers? You've got to be very bad at your job if the murderers are killing you at the police station and you are the police. That, that is very, honestly, what is going on? Somebody look out for the police officers in this city because they're not very smart and they keep getting killed in their own police station. And somebody please send a hearse over to this house. They've been dead for a while. Can, no, no one's even thinking of sending anything over here. Interesting, no one's going anywhere over here. You can get to this part of town, right? You, you, no one, none of these houses, this one has a route out of town. Good, as long as you're not trapped, like, remember this area when they didn't have a way out to the outside world? That was bad for them. But yeah, so the police are dead. That's not gonna help. In some good news, our lake is filling out ooh, really nicely. So I could, maybe I should, we should build some stuff around here. We can only use dirt tracks because we're a bit poor. Oh, sod it. Now is not the time to be financially conservative. We've already blew all the money before. We'll blow, we'll blow all the money again and we'll do it again in the future. Nothing will ever stop us from our terrible, terrible ways. We've got to really, can I sort of bend? We've got to bend around. We've got to join up later. We don't want to cause too many major traffic problems. But now we've got a little bit more homes, just a little. Get more taxpayers in, get to 5,000 people. We're only like 50 people away. I mean, they do keep dying at a very, very frightening pace. But I promise they'll stop dying once they learn that it's the wrong thing to do. They do it's, it's an education problem. We need to teach them. Avoid murderers and death. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. It's the canals. The canals make the roads weird. It's definitely been noted in this town. Maybe it's just because I build the canals wrong. Who knows? I build everything wrong. That... That is probably the reason that there's so many murderers. I'm probably designing my suburbs in a way that is conducive for murder activities. All right, I've now got $16,000 and everyone is dead. Uh, you are Piggly Wiggly, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Someone over there, dead. You, dead. Dead, over in Fiaset. Treasure Islands, Massive amounts of dead. Downtown, loads of people dead. 
Sunken Valley, surprisingly no one's dead. Dodson Ranch, everyone's dead. I'm very concerned as to what has suddenly killed most of the population of this town. And I am going to point the finger at crime. I think the murderers are killing everyone in town. So let's get to work on that. Considering that no one appears to be murdering in Sunken Valley, I think we should stick the new police station somewhere around Treasure Island and downtown where everyone is dead. Because if they're already dead, that means they need the police even more. I don't know. Do not do not question me. I'm just a frazzled mayor. I'm trying to do right by my citizens, who are mostly dead. So, police, if you could just go out there and deal with the fact that everyone in town is dead. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit concerning to me, actually. Why are they dead? Why are they dead? Is it healthcare that is killing you? Uh... Uh, well, healthcare availability is good. Average health, 56% though. 56% health, that is not a good amount of health. Is there anything I can build that makes you healthier? Because it's not a doctor's you need, is it? Because there's lots of room at the doctor's. Are you just too lazy to go there? I wouldn't rule them out, they are very lazy. Interestingly, everyone around... Oh, I was going to say everyone around the doctor's appears to not be dead. But not only are they dead, they're also burning. So, maybe the doctors is not what they need to get healthy. What? Me like a gym. Some kind of g gym. Is that a gym? It is a gym. It costs $120,000, so ruling that out. $75,000 for a pool. What about you? 25000 and they can get a sauna, which uh, makes them a bit healthier. So, maybe you can have... Why is something flooding? Why is there a bit of a flood going on? Um... Oh, uh-oh, turn off the lake, turn off the lake, turn off the lake. Do not fear, citizens, do not fear. No one's scared here. Just because this town has a terrible history of floods. Okay, the lake is still leaking. Can somebody deal with this? Oh, also, I forgot to name this area of town. We're going to name this Thomas Lake after Holly. She finally gets a district. It's what she needs, it's what she needs. Let's turn off all this stuff. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 stop everything. An earthquake is about to happen. Okay. Um, an earthquake of three. Three, that is a... is That is a low number, I want to say? I don't know. Go to the shelter. Go to the shelter. It is vastly too small for all of you now. But please, go to the shelter. Ignore the flood. That is not the disaster. That is the red herring of a disaster. Go to the shelter. Go to the shelter. You better be going. No, you appear to be at the mall. Go to the shelter. Is anyone coming? You all go there when there's like a petty flood. Zero. Okay, oh god, it's shaking. The earth is shaking. Do not fear, citizens. What is happening? Is this where the earthquake's happening? In the river? Well, that's safe, isn't it? Oh, no, you're dead. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. What's it doing to the lat? What's it doing to the... Uh oh. Um, run, citizens. Flee. Oh, everything's burning as well. Oh, no. What's it done to the water? This is like... Oh, dear. Just... Oh, God. Um. Oh, no. My big highway thing has been destroyed. That was my one love. Also, all these citizens are now dead. Uh, yeah, especially you guys. You also can't escape. Uh, the Oh, that is a... Like a picture-perfect disaster. It hit and destroyed the one road out of town for these people. And now they all died. Well, it's, most of them were dead already, but... Okay. This isn't good. And the river is just mental right now. Uh, yeah. So, you people all died, right? They got misery. They look sad, probably because they're dead. Okay, well, I think we should get back to work building back my road. Because that was what I loved the most in this town. My big freeway intersection thing. So, we better build that back. What, how, what did it look like? It didn't go down to the surface immediately, did it? It was, did it, did it, did it, or did it not? What did my road look like? Why do I not know? 
Why do I not know? Let's build that. What? Ha oh, no. That, it didn't look like that. It didn't look like that. It did not look like that. Let the record show. Didn't look like that. We've got it. It's, it went sort of... It, it stayed as a bridge for as long as it possibly could. Which I think is going to be less than it wants me to do now. Well, actually, you know what? Why are we even doing this? We know what it looks like before. It's in this menu. Uh, somewhere. Oh dear God, where is it? Where is it? Oh God. Am I being an idiot? Is it that? No. No, it's not that. Is it that? No. Is it that? Why am I so bad at this? Like, this is what toddlers do, match images. It's, I think it's the big no money sign that's distracting me. Uh, I will be right back. All right, so I've built back my road. I'm pretty sure that's what it looked like before. I couldn't actually find the menu. It, it doesn't look... Oh, let's just pause again for a second because something's clearly about to flood. It doesn't look very glamorous like I like it did before. It has irreparably damaged the city, that disaster. We will never get this curvy bridge the same way it was before. It will just annoy me till the end of time. And you know what? Maybe that is a suitable price to pay in some countries, but not here. Not here. I will forever be outraged at the loss of my Bendy Road. Uh, the citizen lives, they're, they're up there too. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is it on a bit of a wonk now? I'm just, I'm, this, is, this is very disappointing. I thought better of my, I thought better of myself. I need to become less OCD about the curves of my roads. But also, when have I ever learned from my mistakes? It's a bad idea. It actually can't build anymore because there's a whole spontaneous flood developing underneath it. Which really, have you been to this town? Like, spontaneous flooding is what we're built upon. And also terrible disasters. Like that tornado that hit Fia Set. I wouldn't say this was as bad as that tornado. Oh my god! No! My other love! Oh, no. This is going to be so expensive to replace. Where's the fire department? Where's the fire department? What are you doing with your miserable lives? Oh, my God. Why is the entire city burning to the ground? This is earthquake unrelated. Um, Please, please do not let the office depot. Oh, my God. We are bankrupt. We are doomed. Get out of the shelter. You're bankrupting the town. I don't care if you die. Get out. Get out of the shelter. Only 200 people came. When there was like a crappy flood, 800 people go to the shelter. Earthquake and apocalyptic fire. Ugh, I'll go there if I have time. Okay, is the fire department not coming? What do I pay them for? What do I give money to the fire department for? I remember not so long ago we were making... Get your car out of the way, Olivia Price. The fire department's trying to pat our burning building. I remember we were making budget cuts and the fire department, everyone got angry when I cut their money, so I gave them the money back. And how did the fire department repay me? Like this. They are the worst. And the only building that survived is the McDonald's that likes to complain that the taxes are too high for it to operate. Oh my God. Everyone's dead. I should have known this episode was cursed when it started with every single citizen being dead. And now we are here, post-apocalypse, and everything's ruined. How much is it going to cost us to build a new Dave and Buster's? Probably more than we'll ever make in our wildest dreams. Actually, it, it doesn't say. Oh, it does. It's only $10,000. Okay. Okay, right. What about the church's chicken that's also burnt down? Things are going very bad. There was just rubble everywhere. Why are you rubble? The earthquake was nowhere near here. What is going on in this town? Are these, uh, is there like mass murder, arson? People's homes just collapsed everywhere. I'm, is it really the earthquake that collapsed your home? The earthquake that happened over here? I, I understand the, why this part of Dalton Ranch is on fire, but no one who is here, oh, I guess your house collapsed and your house collapsed. Okay, everyone's house has collapsed. 
And you all have no water. Oh god, it even broke the pipes. Oh my god. We are This might this I mean this is worse than the tornado because the tornado never burnt down my shopping mall. Right. Yeah, repair the roads. Give them back their connection to the outside world. I can only imagine how desperate they are to leave this town. Clear off. Clear off. Build homes. Build homes on the crack in the earth that we now have in this area. Just build homes. Just build homes. And you know what? Thomas Lake welcoming new residents. House prices are rock bottom due to the massive fire, flooding, and other serious problems we have with our city. Join now. Buy a home. Settle in and find out what apocalyptic disaster is going to strike you next. Why is there flooding here? Where did this water come from? Oh my god. This place has really fallen apart. If you just started this episode and shown me the amount of abandoned buildings, corpses and piles of ash that are filled within this town, I would have laughed in your face because this is the worst. Oh, and let Darren Dreamer part. I think I know who caused the earthquake. I think it was Darren Dreamer. Right, so I'm here at the burnt out shopping mall. I don't know why the gas station survived. The Dave and Busters didn't and the chicken shop. We're now a town without chicken. Can you believe this? Let's speed up time. Oh, someone's happy at least. Right, what 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 is there to be happy about in this town? And something's still burning. So join us next episode for more content from everyone's favourite city. The city where things are randomly flooding at most times of the day. Where everyone's dead. Where every house has burnt to the ground or is in the process of burning to the ground. Where the traffic is awful. Oh my god! And there's now a forest fire. You know what? Just screw it. There's nothing I can say. Join us next episode for more of the apocalypse.